Well, happy Flyers DIYers! Another project coming, the mini hexacopter for 5 inch, five inch props max. So this story is about the frame. Uh, as, as I like doing the recently, just uh, connecting everything together and gluing on and, and treading with the braided fishing line. So combining the two things that doesn't go along together very well, which is very lightweight and very strong. So on this on this frame, I stepped up the notch a bit. I got the 37 pound, uh, 37 pound uh, pline, whatever Spectrex uh, braided fishing line, which previously I was using, I was using 20 pound just for extra strength. And also I doubled I doubled the fiberglass in here because from my previous crash test on my on my mini, uh, the spot where the two tubes are connecting is is the weakest is the weakest point. Cause that one works as a lever and, and it was just ripping off. So stepping up a notch a bit, I got the epoxy, epoxy here with micro balloons to further strengthen, to further strengthen a bit. Now this, this thing is bloody solid as the hell knows what, but she, we, we, we will come out for testing. Uh, what goes for the frame? Geometry, geometry is a bit of a, a bit of a swap. There's a, there's a different, there's one measurement from center to the back ones, different measurement from there. And there's a different measurement from here. And the front is swept out, uh, spread out a bit. Uh, there's, you can see in here, that's uh, my mock-up frame just for testing. There's a five inch props in here. Not much gap in here between the props. A bit more in here. And there's a bigger gap in here, just about, just about, just about to fit the Mobius in, 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 in between. So while I'm testing, while I'm testing my mock-up frame, I'm just building this one and later will be swapped electronics. Uh, ESCs will be going inside the tube and there's a, there's a motor protection clause in there as well, as I started recently after first few crashes, those, those motor protection, those motor protection pays off saves saves the motors let's put on the weighing scale what do we have here it was 122 grams but added claws added epoxy and we have here now 130 grams of a frame so it's not the it's not the end it's not the end weight of a frame because i'll be doing the same the same as on my on my mini i'll be doing the bridge over the electronics that will be on top and the battery will be going on the bridge uh, strap with the zip ties just whatever a good crash and it just comes off put another zip tie and off it goes right so frame is more or less done i have a piece of lead and a few bits and pieces strap it on as a dead weight and let's go toss it around on the grass see how is it gonna withstand right okay i got the lead strapped on i got a few drill bits and the whole weight now is one kilo and 20 grams as a flying weight all a flying weight the planning is around 750 grams well 800 max so one kilo one kilo that's let's say let's say a quarter or a fifth or more than it's supposed to so the only thing i will allow is for the more amounts to dislocate or break or slip and uh, and the claws as well I do not want any cracks or anything in the in the main frame. Pretty confident the tubes will hold. So, right. So, toss it up. There she. Okay. Now that was a good hit. That one came off. I don't have my tape with me be throwing again right so no cracks in there no cracks in there we're doing good in here that one did not twist or dislocate And this one is holding on. Right, so the test more or less passed. And before any smart ass pass in the comment about bloody testing on the tarmac, uh, no, I won't. I will test it when the things will be flying. Either 
away. Why did I not? I don't know, but they're still gonna test it. Right, so bye, folks.